Well, hello, I'm Charles, a.k.a. Ninja Cthulhu, a.k.a. GL Pawtucket, um, doing a response for the contest that Jellicles Forever is doing um, for uh, the uh, scariest ghost stories. Um, it's kind of like, it's been kind of a somber day. Uh, you all probably know about the uh, school shooting and... Um, I guess it's a little bit more somber for me and many people in my area because Newton, Newtown is not that far. It's about three, three and a half hours from where I live. So it's kind of like almost close to home. You know, Connecticut's right next to Rhode Island. You know, it takes me 25 minutes to get to Connecticut. And so it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of weird talking about a scary ghost story when, you know, shit like that is much more scarier. So... But I'm going to do it anyway, because I've been wanting to do it. Um, it's kind of hard to come up with a ghost story, because none of them was um, personal experience. It's really scary. Um, I mean, really, really, really frightening. So I'm going to go with my very first ghost sighting I've ever had. Um, it was scary for me, because it's you know, the first thing ever. So um, that's why I'm kind of like laying on the bed kind of give you a better visual, okay? So, this was about five years ago. I was not living in here. I was living in another apartment, but it's the same bed, you know, well, not, not the same mattress, but it's the same bed, so that works. And, um, okay, so I'm like this, you know, laying in bed. It was about, and um, I'm a terrible insomniac, um, so, I'm kind of like really up late a lot. Um, takes I'm usually fall asleep about 4 a.m., which kind of sucks if I have to go to work at like 8. <laughs> anyway, uh, by the way, how many of you wanted to see me in bed? Anyway, making it a little bit funny, you know, because all the somberness and stuff. So I'm like laying in bed, and I'm like this. You know, and I'm like, you know, just laying like this. It was about 2 a.m., and then um, and I turn over, because that's what I do a lot. And then I, uh, you know... Kind of like like this. You gotta have to kind of imagine it a little bit because it's not the same room. So I'm looking down, and uh, right about right over here was a um, woman. Um, you can describe her. She was like, you know, blonde hair, blonde hair, kind of like curly right here. Hair kind of went down like to here. She had like um. A sweater on. I'm not sure if it was like um, what you would call a turtleneck, uh, but it kind of looked like it, and it was grayish white, and the sleeves were pulled up, like up to here. And so, so I'm like running right here. She's right about there, and just standing there. And I'm like, so, not moving. Can't really see her face much, but um, anyway. So I start, like, you know, doing this, you know, adjusting my eyes, thinking that it's like, gosh, you know, um, must be an optical illusion or something like that. Well, I looked at her for about 20, 10, 15, 20 seconds, and I'm like, holy shit, someone broke into my house. That was the first thing. So I got out of bed like this and ran over, see, the door would have been over here where my window is now, Okay. <laughs> It just sucks that I can't do it in the same location. So I ran over here, and the light over here was, was on the wall. So I turned it on, and she, like, vanished, like, you know, outside in, you know, and just vanished. And I'm like, there's nothing there, and I have no clue what's, you know. That was actually, it was pretty scary because I was jumpy for the rest of the night. I, you know, I'm like, I left my room and everything and wouldn't go back into my room right away. Um, she was so real too. She looked solid. Like, like if I threw a book at her, could have hit her. But like I said, and, um, when I turned the light on, she, like I said, she, you know, kind of like faded, like, you know, not too slow, but you know, not necessarily that fast either, you know? And it was just, I was so scared for the rest of the night. I slept with the lights on. I wouldn't go back to sleep. So, um, that's my scary story. Because it was my very first incident of seeing a ghost. And 
it really shook me. And it wasn't my last, though, because I've actually saw a couple more ghosts in my old apartment. Um, so that's the, um, that's my scary ghost story. Hope I told it at least kind of creative, but, um, I know it may not be the scariest. I don't have, didn't have, I've never really had anything thrown at me. I haven't really been scratched. I've been touched once out of all the ghost investigations I've done and everything. I've only been touched once. Um, I have seen, it wasn't the first apparition. I mean, sorry, it was the first apparition, but it wasn't my last apparition. I mean, in the same room, I saw a child. I saw a monk like five times. The monk was actually kind of nice, actually. Um, but, no, seeing her, it was, like, what, such an eye-opener. really, like, made things, like, I mean, damn, like, I thought it was someone was in my, I thought someone, like I said, I saw someone broken, and my heart was beeping, you know, shaking, and, of course, it was 2 a.m. in the morning, I wanted to go run and wake, wake my roommate up and be like, you know, um... I don't know who the first person I ever told this story to, but I know it was a long time before I really told anybody about it. Uh, I did not know Steve at the time, so I didn't tell him. Obviously, he didn't know that story, but I don't know who I told it to. Um, I think it was years before. So, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, remember to think about the, the incident in Connecticut. Um, and uh, hope to hear from... Jellicles, and maybe I'll get some tags going on. I don't know. And, and um, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Feliz Navidad.